Hey, it's Jackie, and for today's video, I have a long-awaited Cheryl Blossom look from Riverdale. I love Riverdale, I cannot wait for season two, and I binge-watched that whole thing in one day, and Cheryl is my favorite character, so I'm very excited to put on her look for the day. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you love movie and TV recreations, because those are my favorite to do. And also, you gotta leave me a comment telling me who your favorite character is or couple. I gotta know, so leave it down below, and let's just get started with this makeup look. Starting off with this Cheryl look, we got a prime, so I went in with my Too Faced Primed in Poreless, and I do have some bigger pores on my cheeks, so I added a bit of extra on there and I'm blending in. For foundation, I decided to go higher coverage and I'm mixing my Estee Lauder Double Wear with my Body Shop Lightning Drops. For your foundation, go for something that's velvety and matte, and these lightning drops are my absolute favorite from the body shop. I use them so often in videos, especially when I do redhead looks and I'm at my palest. It just helps cancel out any of the redness in my skin and makes the foundation a bit lighter. Also pat this over the eyelids and down the neck so we have a great base to work with. For concealer, I'm using my Boing Brightening Concealer from Benefit, and this one has become my go-to. In my Benefit video I did where I showed the new range of these Boing concealers, I used the Hydrating Concealer, but I do find that I'm picking up the Brightening one more often because my main concern for uh, concealer is just making sure I'm covering up my under eye circles. So once I've canceled out that darkness, I am gonna go back in with the Body Shop Lightning Drops. I just have one drop on the back of my hand and I'm patting this with my Beauty Blender um, over again under my eyes and on my forehead and chin for that extra pop of brightness. Now, if you're following me on Instagram, you know I recently got some products from Soap and Glory and I hadn't tried out a ton of their stuff before. I really like the brand and this is the translucent setting powder. I personally do like pressed powders and this one lasted all throughout the day for me and I've tried it like the whole week now and it's awesome and the packaging is really retro, love it. And next I'm using my Benefit Hula Light Bronzer just around my hairline and under my cheekbones. Again going in with a really light hand with this because I did want a touch of dimension because when I have all matte products and on very fair skin, it can start to look flat so I am going to add a little bit of sculpting. As always, I'm going to begin my nose contour, and I've shown this in videos before, but I like the control of the tiny sponge applicators you get in eyeshadow palettes, so I prefer this more than a brush a lot of the time. I will drag it along where I want my nose contour to be, on the sides, and then into the eye socket slightly. And then for my nose tip, I like to define the cartilage, and then I'm going to widen my nostrils a bit at the bottom, and create almost a heart light heart-like shape um, and a little line through the bridge of my nose and then taking the Soap and Glory pressed powder I'm going to bring this upwards on the width of my nose and this is how I do my overall slim nose. Of course you can skip out on the nose contour. My goal for these videos isn't to look exactly like somebody else but I do like having my nose slightly slimmed down <laughs> so that's how I do it and moving on to blush I'm obsessed with this one from the Balm. It is a gorgeous pink shade and I'm popping it on to the higher points of my cheek there and upwards and we're gonna keep this a little bit unblended because Cheryl is very doll-like and a lot of the time her makeup looks a bit painted on and I kind of like that it's bright it's fun and now the highlighter so I'm bringing this onto the nose mainly because it'll help make the contour look a bit more real when you follow where the contour was with the highlight and I'm using another the bomb product I'm trying to expand my products and uh, use some fun new stuff for you guys and I really like this one it's more of a champagne -y shade and I also am bringing Bringing it onto my cheekbones, chin, and forehead, but subtly because it is a more of a matte skin look. Here I'm using the BH Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette and I'm selecting the reddish blonde shade and I'm going to fill in my brows. Hers are lighter and less full than mine, but I am just warming them up so they match the entire look a bit better, but her brows do start a bit farther in than mine. And next up I am using my L'Oreal Lumi concealer pen and this is great for touching up brows, adding a tiny bit of highlighting and touching up lips so I'll use it again with the red lipstick. For my eyeshadow I'm going to set down a base and I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow and I really like these for like no makeup days when I just want to put a little something to the lid but it also is great for a base and over top I'm using that same highlighter I used on my nose and cheeks uh, right onto the lid and inner corner. Can't forget that. <laughs> 
I love my Natural Love palette from Too Faced, so the first shadow I'm selecting is Nudie, and we're going to take this from just above the crease into the outer V and also slightly under the bottom lash line. I had to pick out this eyeshadow from the bomb again because there's a redhead on it. I thought it was so Cheryl. So this is more of a coppery pigment and I've applied it to the outer and inner portion of the lid and I'm blending this into the champagne highlighter. With Chocolate Martini from the Too Faced palette, which is a deep brown that has a bit of shimmer to it, I'm sculpting out that outer V and uh, bringing the crease a bit higher. The main focus with Cheryl's eyeshadow looks is a tapered out shape with a big lid, a bit of shimmer, and the colors change slightly in certain scenes, but for the most part we have a light shimmer shade with a deeper crease and big lashes are a very Cheryl look. Once I have this all blended, I did pop on a champagne shadow to the brow bone that was a matte, and you can use the same highlight that we used on the lid under the first half of the bottom lash line, or pick up a slightly pinkier iridescent shade like I did. And back with Chocolate Martini on an angled brush, we're going to line the upper lash line really softly. You could use a bit of liquid liner as well, but I'm keeping it a little softer because I am going with big lashes. My final shadow step is I did add a more grey cooler tone into the crease for more drama and I didn't want to do too warm of a golden eye because it was pretty similar to my Miley Cyrus Party in the USA look so that's what I did to deepen it up and boom you guys know I love my Body Shop casual liner so I'm bringing this into the tight line and slightly in the inner corner as well and let's just add some mascara. Curl your lashes, and I went with one of my favorite mascaras, which is Roller Lash from Benefit. This one is a lengthening and curling mascara, and then over top I decided to go in with Bad Gal Lash, which is more of a volume and layer them up for big lashes. Cheryl has gorgeous full long lashes, and in some scenes you can see that they are individually placed, but I just decided to go with a full strip, and I'll show you guys how to get a similar effect by layering mascara over top for more of a spidery lash look. On my eye shape, they're a little too long. I didn't want them to cover up the shadow. So I'm actually going to push the length of these downwards with my Bad Gal Lash. And uh, yeah, you can see this downward motion I'm doing and this is going to almost weigh down the tips and slightly separate these lashes just to give that tiny amount of spideriness because that's how Cheryl's look. And sometimes spider lashes can be seen as like such a taboo, but they actually do bring a lot of drama to the eyes, whereas fluttery lashes give more of a soft, subtle look. Cheryl is not Cheryl without her red lip, but it does vary through the scenes, so I have a couple of different options and price ranges for you guys. I'm starting with this NARS Muted Red Liner. Uh, the exact one they use is from MAC and it's called Spice. And then I'm adding over a lip balm to just kind of blend this into my natural lip, and this one is my favorite. It's from a BC brand called Barefoot Venus, which is perfect because the show is filmed in Vancouver and it smells like maple syrup, which totally works with the Blossom Maple Syrup Legacy. So this is just the perfect lip lip balm for Cheryl and I hope they use it on set. But anyways, let's go to the second look which is more of a glossy uh, lip stain. This is a gorgeous product but I do recommend using a lip liner first to make sure you don't get any bleeding because it is hyper glossy. And my final option here is another The Bomb product. It's the Meat Matte Hues. I got this whole pack for around $10 at my drugstore and I really like them. And this matte red was best for me because my cupid's bow is a little bit prominent so it's hard to do that rounded out look uh, when it has some gloss because it almost accentuates the cupid's bow. So a matte finish helps bring together that rounded look. For these side curls, I'm starting with my natural hair and I'm brushing out with this vintage inspired brush I got recently and I'm going to pop in two and a three clip weft of extensions. These are from Bellamy and I have the balayage pair and they look dark up top but they actually do match my auburny strands at the bottom super well. I love these and when I do wear extensions, I always add them to the very bottom layers of my hair and this makes it so much more wearable. You can still mess with the top layer and you barely feel like they're there and I really only wear one or two clips because anymore and I feel uncomfortable. So that is what I do and I'll have a link below to this product and then before I curl, I'm always going to add some heat protectant and I also am going to add some teasing to my hair. This is going to make sure that the style really stays put and that my part doesn't, uh, you know, like 
fly away in the wind. So anyways, I'm starting with my dry volume blast that I get from Sephora. This is a little bit pricey, but I use it so often and I really think it's worth it. Before I curl, I am going to set this parting with my Pantene air spray. I have a bit of a widow's peak, so I'm taking a small section and pinning this to the side, and this will help have the hair stay how I want it to. And with all the hair over one shoulder, I'm using my Bellamy wand, and this came in a six piece set. I got this years ago, and uh, this tapered wand is my most used. I use this in my Rose from Titanic tutorial and my Romeo and Juliet hairstyles, so it is my go to wand. And all the curls, I am starting off where about my jawline is, and just coat the hair from the top of the wand to the bottom so you get a larger curl at the top and it goes a little bit more in a spiral at the bottom. As I go, I'm just picking up small sections and when I get to the last curl, I'm going to take a bigger section, again start from my jawline and make sure that the wand is tilting more downwards rather than horizontal, it'll help with the curl. And the final step for Cheryl's gorgeous curls is to add a bit of a shine spray or oil serum. I always use OG OGX oils. I really like the scent of this one. It is the Renewing Argon Oil and I'm focusing it on the very ends of my hair. This will group the curls together slightly and of course add more shine. And there you have it. I absolutely love this look and I do have one bobby pin on the side that doesn't have the hair over the shoulder to make sure that it stays in place. Of course, I'll give you a close-up of this outfit I put together, but I did want to show you one more lip option before I move on, because when Cheryl wears a red dress, a lot of the time she won't wear a red lip with that, but more of a nude. So I chose to start off with this Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner first in a nudie shade, and I'm overlining again, and I'm using another The Balm Meat Matte Hue shade. This is gorgeous. It comes off a bit more peach, so to lighten it up, I'm adding this creamy uh, gloss finish, and I'm using Too Faced Plumping Gloss and I just love this combo. So let me know if you prefer the red or the nude in the poll. And this dress I'm wearing is from Lulu's. It's off the shoulder and sweetheart like her dress. And then I have these dangle down earrings and my eye makeup and face makeup is still the same as my tutorial. And here is my complete Cheryl Blossom look. I love her style. She always wears a lot of reds and blacks and looks sexy but classic. And on top, I am wearing this really cool cutout shirt from Topshop. She wears a lot of shirts in this style, which I love. And then on my nails, I am wearing Essie's A-List, which is a great red, one of my favorites. Actually, I've bought this a couple times by accident thinking I didn't have it. So I have many A-List uh, nail polishes in my collection. And the only thing that I went out and actually purchased for this look was this pin. So I got it off Etsy.com. You can find a lot of vintage pieces on there and they had tons of pins that looked like hers in the show. So I would definitely check that out if you want to recreate a look or just add a little vintage glam to your style. And on the bottom, I am wearing a plaid skirt. You could go with a uh, just red skirt, a corduroy skirt. There's lots on Forever One forever21.com and then on the very bottom of my feet I'm wearing heels that was a weird sentence that's fine <laughs> these ones are from Aldo and they're the Maybelline Aldo collab and they have lips on the bottom super sassy and fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this look I hope you guys enjoyed my Cheryl Blossom from Riverdale look and if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more beauty videos I post every week. If you made it this far in this video then comment hashtag Riverdale strong and I also decided to pick out a scent for Cheryl because I like to do that for characters. It's just added fun. So this is the one that I decided to show you guys. So I'm new to Soap and Glory. This is the brand and this one is a body scrub and it smells like maple so I thought that was perfect for Cheryl, leaves her skin really smooth, and if you want to see what other products I'm loving and just updates and what videos are coming up, be sure to follow me on Instagram. You can find me always under Jackie Wires, as well as Twitter and Facebook. All links will be down below, as well as all the products used, and uh, if you have any requests, also let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in my next one.